I just got my new computer all set up and now I'm going to load in all of my add-ons that I use for Blender and particularly Blender Octane. First thing first, I mean, these also apply to Vanilla Blender too. I'm going to download is Machine Tool 1.9. And I just found something out as of 625, 2024, Machine Tools standard version is not free anymore. It is now paid. If we go in and see actually how much it is, let's quickly take a look at the price. Five bucks, okay, not that bad. Like it, for what it does, it's not that bad. Boom, there it is, okay, Machine Tools. I'm gonna go ahead and tag that. And then again, now Machine Tools does have a lot of options. One thing I do know I want are the Saving Pie menus. Uh, I think Shading Pie menus, View Pie menus. Yeah, I think that might be it. I'll have this down below, check it out. And this stuff, this, this app is, this thing is powerful. I'm surprised it went so many years without being charged. Now, if I quickly come in here and I should be able to press shift S, boom, there we go. Now machine tools is working. If I go control S and one thing I like here is let me go boop. And what I like here is look, we got most recent, most recent open uh, temps, enable screencast, and then I can import OBJs, plastic, FBUS. These are like, I use them all the time, especially the OBJ one. Purging my file to clean out data when I'm written ready to, you know, put my file up for in the community and stuff like that. Clean out your blend file, appending files, just little stuff like that really helps. And I think if, uh, I think this is standard right here with Blender. I'm not sure that's the tilde key. Okay, so that's it for now. Let's get to some other add-ons. Another one that is mandatory, mandatory mandatory power save make sure you download power save we're going to go ahead and install that i already got it downloaded and already actually installed but i'm going to go ahead and walk you through that we quickly come in here into our preferences there is power save again if you do not know what power save this blender crashes or something it automatically saves a file which is really cool so what i've done here is i actually put a, a, a separate folder and i called it power save because typically when you work when you don't it puts it in whatever folder your project is saved in which is nice I just wanted to have them all in one central location so I can know exactly where they're at. Boom, I go to power save and I can always bring bring those back up. So I've kind of put it in its own dedicated folder, blender, power save folder. I have my interval set to two minutes, so it'll auto save every two minutes. And then I think everything else that I've left stock and I've left the same, I didn't change anything else. All right, here's another one that is mandatory, Node Wrangler for Octane. But we gotta get this one here. And as at the moment, I uh, don't see any super new updates. This update was from February. That was the last one I used anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the latest. All right, back inside Blender, come into my edit preferences, install downloads, Node Ringer for Octane, install that, fire that up. Now I've heard some people say you should disable Node Wrangler standard. I never did and it seemed to work, but if you have issues with it, with Node Wrangler Octane, disable Node Wrangler Vanilla and then maybe see that. But I've never had an issue, so I'm not gonna disable it. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Let me jump over to shading tab, go to the world tab, drop in a cube, All right? And then I'm gonna come in here, drop this in. And let's just go see if this uh, control shift T load in a material. Boom. And there that is. So that worked. Let's see if it worked. Oh, there it is. So that's working. All right. Boom. So Octane render is working. Let's see if the preview is also working. If I wanted to preview a node, control alt right click. All oh, right. <laughs> there it is. I forgot. Control shift right click. Control shift right click for your preview. Control rift right. There's the roughness. There's the normal displacement boom okay and then we come back over here it works now another one that i kind of use a lot with particles is the molecular script so i'm going to go ahead and put that one in here go ahead and install that scroll back down to downloads and it should be right here molecular plus quickly show you the, the site where the molecular script is I'll again i'll put all these down in the description is this one right here the molecular script it's very cool like it basically kind of acts like you know the way particles should like they do in cinema 4d where they actually won't intersect and stuff like that it's really cool I've, something that i've used a long time back in my vanilla blender days and i've just used it again when, when i'm over here so molecular script link will be down in the uh the file notation down there below and let's get that one installed again download it boom and I keep everything stock. I don't change anything on this one here and just leave that like that. All right, the next one is actually in our community. It's already actually in the classroom here. If you scroll down to Octane Tools, this one is another one that also kind of acts like Octane Ring Node Wrangler, but this has a little bit of extra stuff in here. 
quick note from future me, there is one thing that I, I forgot to mention about this plugin. For example, I have this material clicked onto the monkey here. And if I go into the standard view, you'll notice here that we don't see a material preview, especially this is something we don't have in Octane, right? But if you look here, this guy has a material preview. That's another plus about this add-on. If I click on in here, and there's one other thing I forgot to mention right here, if we press I, we can basically create an image node. So what that means is if I go back to the object and here is our object, and you clearly see here, if I click on the image node, this is going into the RGB albedo, click on that, press I, it makes a cycles node. And now this allows me to have a material preview. So that is one of the really main things about this add-on, which I recommend you installing for this right here. So now there it is, material preview inside of Octane Blender. He, uh, again, you can read the description here, but we have the main tool is basically it does like Octane Node Wrangler, but it also has some very cool stuff like creating PBR materials, a quick setup for that. Oh, another option for randomizing, getting a randomized color, but I haven't gotten all into that, but definitely check this one out, download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you go to the resources down here, you can click the link and go to the actual site, the Blender Octane Blender blog where I got it from. But if you just click on add on here, we can go ahead and download it here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also install that. Jump back to Blender, preferences, kill that, install. And there it is, it's popping up there. Okay, and to and this one here, when you initiate it, you really won't, it's kind of hard to find it first, but if you press in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on for you guys. If you press in, you can click on your side tab here, Octane Tools. Oh, no, it wasn't, it was down here, Octane Tools. And see here, we got some like a thing for randomizing colors. And then here also copy object color from active, a couple of little small tidbits. But it also, when we jump into the shader, and let's go back here to object. Again, let me throw in a cube, throw material on that. If we hit the end panel, and again, we can see here we can convert. We can easily uh, convert this to an octane material. If this was like a cycles material, you can literally just click that one button. And then here we can choose like when you do it, do you want to use a standard material or a universal material? Uh, do you always want to use a composite node? And then here you can remove uh, marked nodes. So things that are like, don't work, they show up red, and then you can just delete them. And then here, uh, create a PBR material setup. You can literally just click this button here and do the same thing I did earlier, which is, makes it really quick and easy, which I won't do at the moment. So you can do that. And then here, add in a new material slot. To be honest, I use this one more than I did Node Wrangler, just because of this, this quick button right here, quick PBR, and then especially convert the material from cycles. You can check it out in the community. I already have a video here and I walked through it. So definitely take a look at that if you guys are on into that. So that's another one that I definitely recommend. Now this next one is another one I stumbled upon when, when the laptop was down and wasn't working. So I went back to Vanilla Blender and I started doing some hard surface modeling just to practice. And I came across this one. It's free and it should be paid. Grab it now while it's free. <laughs> this thing is awesome. It really helps, especially if you're doing things like where you're, you want to get this beveled edge, these type of bevel edge, booyans, and all the things that come with, you know, hard surface, boolean modeling, that type of stuff. Not necessarily just hard surface, but anytime you're using like booleans and bevels and things like that, absolutely, I do a lot. This is mandatory. This thing is really cool. It's very similar to kind of like a hard ops, but not like hard. Hard ops is absolutely fantastic, but it's a little, it's a paid. I would say this is probably the next best thing compared to that for free. It just, the workflow is really cool. They have a YouTube channel where they make videos and I will definitely go down there to find it. The thing, it can do a lot, a lot. Definitely utilize this, go to the YouTube channel, their YouTube channel, definitely take a look at this. So uh, this is another one I'm gonna be downloading and installing and putting it in the list. So let's get it, go ahead and install this. Same procedure, you know the drill, right? Jump into our preferences, install. And again, this one I kept pretty much stock. Again, there's some other stuff that you can, once you know how to do it, like you can set your default bevel angle, 30, 45 degree, whatever. It's, this app is, or this add-on is, man, it's, it's really cool. I'm surprised it's free and I don't think it will stay free. So definitely you want to probably jump on that while you can. Another one that is mandatory, FSPY. We definitely have to have FSPY. We're going to go ahead and do that, load the ad in. Again, if you do not know what FSPY is, definitely Google or YouTube that. It helps us to get a camera position, get the camera lenses and camera orientation, and then you can implement things inside of that. 
FSpot importer. You have to download the, the importer, but you need this download this add-on for you to bring in the file. So definitely take a look at FSpy. Another one from Ian Hubert, which is free camera shakeify. Add this one in the camera shakeify is absolutely fantastic. It just gives us camera to get some basically random motion, basically like what it says, shakeify the camera. And it's something that is just pretty much you really want to have. It's really easy to use. You click on your camera, you will literally just scroll down and you'll see camera shakeify. And then once you're here, you'll go ahead and hit the plus and there's different presets. And we can load that just to add a little bit of camera shake to your camera. We jump in our camera, we hit play, and there it is. We got different types of different presets. Really cool to just to have. So something that you definitely want to have on there. Camera shake of five from Eater. Now the next one that I like to use is Blender Kit. Now Blender Kit, of course, it works with cycles, but you know, I also use it for Octane. I'll just convert the materials over using some of the other, like the Octane tools plug on, plug in will help me convert over materials, but it's still a very great asset to have. So definitely go to the website, register it up, log it in, but I'm just gonna go here, download Blender Kit. Okay, and we know the deal on this, go down into our preferences and go to add-ons, find out where you saved it and install Blender Kit. Go ahead and enable this here. And as far as default, I think we do need to sign in. Yes, we do need to sign in on this one here. All right, congratulations, login went splendidly, splendidly. And then again here, if we come inside of here, uh, I do have here global directory and it's gonna put in the C LeVar, but I don't want that because I'm putting all my assets on a separate hard drive. So make sure you go ahead and change it up appropriately. My C drive is dedicated to Windows. I don't want anything on that drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this up all right so i think that's pretty much everything else i'm going to change i'm going to leave that everything else is set i just want to make sure i keep those assets all on a dedicated hard drive then up here at the top there it is now we have our blender kit so i can come in here and even search in let's go books there it is we can bring in some books and it's super easy again i'll go ahead and click on that drag it it brings it in and again like i would say these do not convert the materials because they are set up for cycles so if i come in here here is our material, which is set up for cycles. All I make sure is that I have corresponding ones in the right slots and the roughness and the metallic. And this, this is a very simple setup here. So we've actually got lucky on this one here. And we'll go ahead and press in. And then what I'll do is scroll over here to my Octane tools and then literally here, convert to material. Now, if I come back over here, you'll see here, everything worked. Everything is pretty much connected up. Now this red one here means that it did not use it. And again, just the, it highlights it so that you know that this was not connected, but in Octane, we do not need to have a normal map node. It connected straight in. And then I can come back over here and just go ahead and hit removed marked nodes. Boom, and now it's gone. Super easy, right? And then once we've got that, come out of here. Now we should have our render should be all good to go. There it is. There is our book. Actually, really nice asset here. And what I would recommend doing, like if you know you want to kind of use this over and over again, kind of just save this into like an asset library so you don't have to keep converting these things over and over. So I would go ahead and put this in my own Blender Kit asset library, and, you know, make a little one, a special file for you so you don't have to get over and over and over. That's how we do that.